Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can build your own AI bot in any niche at all in eight minutes or less. Let's dive in. Since the start of 2023, we have seen an explosion in AI. It's obvious, it's everywhere in the news. Agencies like us and yourself and gurus and marketers are jumping all over this craze because it is going to be, well, it already is the next, next big thing, okay? From the people we know in my community that are selling to clients and people that we know who are clients all have a really deep understanding that they need AI. The problem is that they don't know how to implement it or what they need. They just know that they need it, which means that as agency owners and people that already have clients, it's our duty to be able to help them, help them and you know, sell AI off the back of it. You know, we've tried lots of things to be able to sell it to clients, but we found that the number one thing that gets them excited is when they experience AI, okay? Which is why um, in this video today, I'm gonna get my tech guy, Graham, to show you how he set this up from scratch in eight minutes or less. And in the description box, there's a link which you can click, which will allow you to set up um, your own AI bot for any niche, again, within eight minutes or less. It might take you a little bit longer because you're not obviously not as good as Graham, but the tutorial that we take you through in that training, which is, as I said, free, is very much step-by-step -step and any kind of beginner can do it, okay? We've got a troubleshooting guide and everything that you need. All right, so without further ado, I'll pass you over to Graham and I'll see you on the other side. Right, okay, guys, hey, how are you all doing? I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as possible. Um, for you guys. Um, so we've already got the snapshot uploaded. Uh, obviously, if you're doing it, you'd click on it, import it, and then you'd come to this area, sub accounts, and you'd go add sub accounts. Uh, you would go into imported snapshots and find the, the snapshot. I'm going to go into my own snapshots because that's where it is. It's called this one, any niche essay snapshot. Um, and then uh, you want to uh, build it out. I'm going to do it manually. You could search for your company if you wanted to, but just for ease, I'm just gonna just type in um, fake. So people just, put their own details in here, right? Yep. And business details, yeah. And you'd, you'd put your business name, but obviously we've already done ours, so. Uh, just pop that in, uh, in the four. You put in your street address. Uh, UK state and problem. There we go. Number and time zone. Cool. So that should build out um, the snapshot basically. Uh, and then we need to go in and we need to make sure we update a few things. Um, so, first of all, I'll just go and update. How long is it? So got to switch to sub accounts. Uh, and then I will go down to settings and I would go to custom values, which is here. And you just want to update the custom values that are in here. Uh, so email name, that's the name uh, that's shown when an email comes out from this account. So ours would be Dan Wardrobe, yours would be your agency or your own name. It's up to you or your, your, your client's name. By the way, as I keep saying, we have got step-by-step -step training to do this in your own time. So if you are missing this or Graham's going too fast, then it is in the school group. Okay, so don't panic. Yeah. And this sending email one, this is basically the email that you're going to send all your emails out from. It's just so in all the automations we've got, um, they've all got custom values in, in the sending name and the sending email. It just makes it easy for you guys. So you don't have to update every single email. You just update it once here and everything's updated for you. Um, I'll just update that now. And then in the GDoc link, this is where you'd uh, type in your kind of like your call to action link. So ours, as Dan showed you earlier, um, is a GDoc that is on our Unbounce page. We call it a Google Doc because it's converted so well. And then we just recreated the look of a Google Doc inside Unbounce if you're wondering why we do that. Yeah. So it's important to pop that in the custom value there. Um, and then next up, if we want to go to Zapier, and you want to go to Zaps. 
Uh, I've got a lot of folders in here. You you may just be brand new on this, so you don't you, you can just upload it now. But I'm going to go into my folder and add a zap. We basically want to get a catch hook, um, which gives us a kind of like a catch hook link that helps us send data to ChatGPT. So I'm going to create a new zap for you now. Uh, on the trigger, we want to go find webhook. And uh, we want to go catch hook. Uh, ignore that bit there. And on the test part, we're going to go get uh, the webhook URL, which is the catch hook. I'm going to come back in here and we're going to pop it in this section here. And it will update all the workflows with the correct webhook. So, so that'll be the last thing we need to do on that. Um, next up, I'm going to add our domain uh, to this sub account. Now, I've already got our domain pointing um, to go high level, so I don't need to set it up in the in the in the course. There is a video on how to set up your domain. Um, I'm just going to pop ours in now, though. I've already done that for our other one, like so. So this is just your subdomain that you can pop in, and it'll work. Uh, then we want to go and add a phone number. So you want to go to phone numbers. And you want to press add number. And obviously we're in the UK, so I want a mobile number. So I'm going to go type in 07 because it's the start of every single mobile number in the UK. Uh, pick one. And I'll get that one. The next thing we want to set up is we want to set up that uh, form on a web page that Dan showed you, which is all in here. As you can see, it's in the snapshot. Uh, it's got a two two step funnel, which is the any niche Android, then a thank you page. Uh, what we want to go and do is we, we want to go to settings and we want to update the domain and press save. That will give us a link. Don't worry about that. That's because we've got a few on this domain already. Um, so now that's done, we want to go and create a contact, just a test contact. So you just press the plus button there. Uh, and then you just want to put in a text email address. I always put some a plus afterwards because the memory key in ChatGPT remembers a lot. And I have tested uh, ChatGPT a lot. So I need a very big um, thing after my, my name and my email. And you can do that. So my actual email is graham at flexible.com. Obviously, you put, you put a plus after Graham and then anything else after that. And it basically creates a new email, but it, it's still linked to that same email address. If you care for the meaning. And then we want to put a phone number in and we just want to press save. So that's all you need to do. First name, last name, email and phone number. And then when you're in the contact, it should open it up now. We've got a workflow called uh, test workflow. And if we put the lead through that. It updates all the fields you're going to need for the zap. Now, so let's type in test up here, test webhook. Add, it's going to add everything that, that we need. It's also going to populate uh, the second prompt, which is in your, your custom value. Uh, just to show you where that is, settings, it's the only custom value I didn't update earlier. That should get updated now, but it's gone through, and that is the prompt that's there for you. Um, so our prompt, our, as Nick was saying, our, the value of what we're providing here is in built into that snapshot. Yep. 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 So we, we don't have to give you the prompt. It's already in there. Um, and that sorts out the second prompt. Um, the other prompt is in another automation, which we're going to sort out now. But next up, we, we want to go and sort out the zap. Um, so we've already created this. We're going to go down and press test trigger because the test webhook, uh, test webhook has basically sent a test through to this webhook here. And we're going to press continue. Uh, and then we want to find chat GPT. Now, again, there is uh, a video that shows you how to connect your chat GPT to Zapier, uh, but that's in the course. I'm not going to do that now because I was already connected. Uh, you want to select conversation, press continue. You want to choose your account. Uh, and then you want to go press continue. Uh, and now we want to build out um, the chat GPT. So basically, it's all going to be from the, from the webhook. So this one, we're going to want uh, lead response to be in this one. Uh, so I'm going to pop in that. So you can see example text, that's where it's come from. And uh, then memory key will be their email address. Uh, username, that's going to be their first name. 
and then the assistant name we normally call it uh dan's sales android but you can call it whatever you want uh assistant instructions this is where you put your prompt so you want to type in prompt and it should be a custom field which is here uh, and then we just leave that the same we press continue uh, and we press test action Typical test just bring through some test data so we can use it uh, a bit later uh, when we bring it into high level Cool, so that's come through. So the content is obviously it's going to be gobbledygook because uh, it was just example tech popped in there, but that's all we need to set up the zap. Press the plus button. We're going to get up lead connector now, which is high level inside Zapier. Uh, we're going to add and update the contact. We're going to press continue. Um, we're going to press choose. Uh, this is where we have to connect our account. So I'm going to go and connect a new account. Um, and I've got to go and find that. That will be in settings. It will be in business uh, profile. And it should be this one here. Just press copy, a little clipboard there. Now uh, we come back. We paste it into this part. And we press continue. That will connect you uh, to your lead connector account inside Zapier. Um, I always edit the connection name. So any niche demo, just so I know, press continue. Uh, then we can just add in the email address. And then we want to scroll down, want to mark lead as false. And then we want to go to AI response uh, and we want to go to chat GPT. Scroll down to the bottom, there should be like a reply. This always changes uh, what it's called. So you just want to make sure it's um, what Ch ChatGPT has said, basically. Uh, it should be it's reply at the moment. It has been um, AI response before. Uh, so we're going to pop it here. Uh, then that should be done. Uh, I'm going to skip the test on that one. Mm. I'm going to add another. I'm going to add a filter. Uh, and this basically just listens out for when it says experiment uh there is a web a workflow inside um high level that, do, that does it as well the reason why we do that is because we say experiment over right yep and then we send the google doc as soon as that happens oh do you remember when i showed you that uh conversation inside high level He'd been through, he'd qualified, he'd been impressed. And then we said, hey, it's down here again, experiment over. Yep. Uh, press continue. And then we want to do lead connector again. Uh, choose event. Add an update contact. So it's already on the same uh, account, which is very important to check that you've got the right account. That's why you want to uh, name it properly. Uh, use the email to find them again. Uh, and then mark lead as false. And then right to the bottom, experiment over. I'm just going to type in yes. Uh, press continue. So let's skip test. And then I'd publish. Uh, name it, actually, sorry. And that's it created. That's the whole thing done. Yep. How, where do we see the landing page? Uh, landing page would be here. Uh, you go back to sites on the side. And then we would uh, click on that. Because we've got the thing there, we just click on this button to open it up. And this would be... Um, that's it. That's it, yeah. And then you would, you would if, you wanted to, if you wanted to test it, just, just, just to make sure it's all working okay, you'd put all your details in there again uh, with a different email address this time. Um, and then you test drive the sales Android. Um, just to be on the safe side, if you were going to do that, I would go back to contacts and delete that test con contact that you've already got there. I'll just go and delete that out just so there's no overriding data. So while, while we're, um, I'm going to, this never, it always seems to break whenever we're going to test it, right? But let's let's do a, like, who wants to put in a really random, like, uh, nation industry type? What about waste management? That's random. Okay. 
So there's a little error error there because usually it says industry type and then something else underneath that or number rubbish one collection or something. A uh, rubbish collection. Yeah. yeah. So will that come into our high level after we do this, Graham? This will come into um our our, our demo account. Our demo account. All right. So there we go, and that's done. So if you imagine, it took Graham about ten minutes to do this. It's going to take you longer, as I said. I mean, I'm bamboozled just watching him and how quickly it goes, right? But as I said, in the school group, you'll notice that there's full training on how to do this. You go as fast or slow as you want. Um, and yeah, you can have it up and running and you can basically start sending this link out to your clients to it. What I call impress the shit out of them. Hopefully you can see how easy and simple this has been. What I like most about it is that there's no kind of prompt engineering or anything that needs additional work or kind of like AI automation knowledge because this is an any niche Android where basically it works when people put their industry and uh, niche in there and what they sell the most of. And when they do that, everything that goes on in the background, it goes over to AI and it comes back and it's able to write the prompt for that industry, which means that you, it doesn't matter what industry your clients are in or what you specialize in, you're able to send them that link and um, they can just experience it and, and be sold on the process after they experience it. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video today. As I said, the link is below. Um, if you've got any questions, please comment as well and we'll do our best to get back to you. Please subscribe to our channel as well. So we're the first to know whenever, so you're the first to know whenever any new videos come out. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.